Luz de Maria, Saint Michael the Archangel, our Queen commands out our heavenly regions and all regions prostrate themselves at her feet. Jacare 1994, I'm the queen of creation, so I'm above all creatures, including angels. God has given me the celestial army to defeat the forces of evil. Maracaibo in Venezuela 1995. Saint Michael the Archangel, even the lightest words whispered by Mary's lips must be followed in the same way that we angels obey her voice, because it is to her that the salvation of souls has been entrusted in this end of times in which humanity will receive Jesus in his glory. Our Holy Mother is the Theotokos Mother Day, Mother Day, Divine Mother. Therefore, she has empowered the army of God, the angelic hierarchies. In fact, when she appears, she is always accompanied by angels. In the sacred scriptures, Gideon, Manoach, Lot, Abraham, when they meet the angels, they prostrate themselves. They kneel before them because they see their great power. In a video that I recorded a few months ago, thanks to the Marian messages combined with the gospel, I spoke about the power of the angels. They can do anything. They can physically raise people to, to heaven. They can materialize, dematerialize, multiply food. They can instantly teleport objects and people from one place to another. They can darken the sky as and when they want. But there are other aspects that we have not yet considered. Cavarziere, Venice, 2020. Angels will speak to you while you sleep, but you do not understand because in your heart, in your mind, when you fall asleep at night, you do not think about prayers. Job 33. God does speak once and even twice, but man does not pay attention. He speaks through dreams, in visions during the night, when a deep sleep falls upon mortals, when they lie slumbering in their beds, then he opens their ears and gives them in secret the warnings. In Matthew 2, it is written that Joseph, in a dream, saw an angel, and he said, Herode wants to kill the child, go to Egypt. They go to Egypt, then Herode dies, and Joseph sees again in a dream the angel who tells him, go back to Israel, and they go back to Israel. So, before going to bed, please pray to your guardian angel, just do it. Paratico, Brescia, 1997. Make St. Peter's speech become your own. The speech we read in the Acts of the Apostles in chapter 2. Behold, the times have come when children will have visions, young people will receive gifts, old people will have dreams. Zaro. My children, great catastrophes will come upon you, but do not fear. I'm with you always, whether you awake or sleep. Carbonia 2011. I speak to my people through signs, visions, dreams, apparitions, and I send my prophets. Bruno Cornacchiola, a visionary from Rome who earlier wanted to kill the Pope, after that he, of course, converted thanks to Our Lady who appeared to him, he had very important premonitory dreams. In March of 1949, 
he dreamed about a plane going up in flames and on it it was written Torino. After one month, a plane carrying the soccer team of the great Torino Turin, the champion of Italy, crashed against the back wall that is under the Basilica of Soperga, which is on a hill in Turin. Let's see this image. This is the visionary Bruno Cornacchiola. This is the wall where the plane crashed. And this is a small monument built in honor of the 31 victims fallen because of this serious accident. In January 78, still Cornacchiola had a dream in which he met a group of 15 people. In this group, there was Aldo Moro, who turned towards him, looked at him, and said, Are you the Madonna's man? And he said, Yes, I am. Aldo Moro then added, Pray for me. I have a bad feeling that something bad will happen to me soon. Two months after this dream, Cornacchiola heard on the news that the Red Brigades had kidnapped Aldo Moro and after a short time he was found dead. So the angels will warn us through dreams. And in this period of time of persecution, we will have a great need to be warned. But they will also warn us in ways different from the dream. Anguera, in Brazil, 2013. The companion who is always invisible to your eyes will be visible to you. Your angel will guide you and lead you and no evil will strike you. The angels will make themselves visible, but not only in the dream, they will make themselves visible on the physical level. In the apparitions of El Escorial in Spain, very important cases occurred. A painter was painting a picture that uh, depicted the Madonna the visionary named Amparo enter her house alone and the painter notices something strange because the visionary always went to visit her accompanied by 10, 15, 20 people. Amparo begins to speak. She speaks very well and this is another strange aspect because the seer could barely read and write. And what happens? The next day, some friends go to the house of the painter and they say, yesterday we were in El Escorial, we prayed the rosary, the seer was there, we spoke to her. And the painter says, but this is impossible. Yesterday, the visionary was here at my house. And she said that in the morning, she was at the Pope's mass as he was on a trip visiting Spain. So the ladies say that the visionary has the gift of bilocation and in other cases, however, it is the dark angel Michael who takes his physical form and manifests himself to other people. Father Alfonso, consecrated person who followed these apparitions has recounted an episode. One morning, Amparo, the seer, was present at his house. She had prepared breakfast and left. Seven or eight minutes later, Amparo came back again to that house. She looks at Father Alfonso and says, But Father, who made the breakfast? And, well, he was shocked, astonished, because he remembers the first Amparo, that was present at home of the consecrated person, 
She had prepared the breakfast, so it was the archangel who took her likeness. The second Amparo who presented herself at home of the priest was the true seer. She was the true Amparo. In a, another episode, the Carmelite nuns were accompanying the seer to El Escorial by car. During the trip, Amparo claimed that her feet hurt. She took off her shoes, put them down, then they arrived at destinations. The nuns get out from the car, look towards the visionary, and there is no one anymore. They no longer see her. They look around, they look for her, and they can't find her. But the shoes were still there. So they go to Amparo's house, they tell her about the episode, and Amparo says, I haven't even left the house today. So it was precisely the angel who took her physical form, manifested himself to other people and appeared and disappeared at will. Angels will manifest themselves with a male or female body as they please. And that will help us, direct us, guide us in these hard times. Music